Testing. 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 End of it. That's fine. I think you'd better go now. My chef will be here any minute. Yeah, good. I want to pay, Gov. <sighs> I've got a feeling we're going to stitch him up rotten tonight. What about this pasta, then? Oh, no chance today. Henderson didn't show up with those pumpkins. Give us number on the door, would you, Steve? Mm. Margaret. Try and get a fella out of the bedroom for a couple of minutes. How am I supposed to do that? Well, you think of something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And jiggle the receiver on the phone a couple of times when you've done it, all right? Look, uh, could I have a few moments in here to get changed? What? I have to get changed. Well, there won't be any customers down there for half an hour. Okie dokie. Spellers here. And here come the other two. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mr. Tubbs, can I introduce you to Duncan Speller? Nice to meet you. How do you do? Sit, sit. We're off. We're getting nothing down here. Are they at the right table? Yeah, definitely. What a bloody hell's going on in the beat? There's three mics on that table. They can't all have gone pear-shaped. You must have the steak and kidney pie. It's the speciality de la maison. Splendid. And a bottle of decent claret to wash it down. Mm? I'm starving. Me too. Ah. I'm not 
much. Oh, thank all for that. Yeah, it's all right, Dave. Panic over. We've got them. Soup sounds good. We have the technology. <laughs> I'm glad to have the opportunity for this little chat, Spiller. And Mr. Tubbs is a great believer in the informal approach. Me too. Could we have another minute, please? Of course. You know I am so hungry, don't you? It's all those calories I burnt off this afternoon. Oh, I know. Twice. You are just so incredible, darling. Oh, it just gets better and better, doesn't it, sweetheart? Give me a kiss. Oh, you randy old thing. <laughs> Dave? Dave, what are they doing? We're getting snogging down here. What do you mean, snogging? Uh, they, they're just talking. All very polite. Oh, no, wait a minute. There's this uh, couple on the table next door. I told you to stay out of here. It's been a cock-up. Gotta get a mic on that table. Who's that? Just gotta make sure that order ends up on the right table. Just... I'll explain later. Um, I think I detect a slight wobble in your table, sir. Actually, are you sure this is the 85? My apologies. Show me the label. That immediately. Would you be wanting English mustard or whole grain? I said you brought me the 87 when I ordered the 85. What on earth do you think you're doing? It's this table again, I'm afraid. What? There we are. Bon appetit, madame. Monsieur. Look here. I want to know what's going on. Keep your hair on! Mr. Crabb, hiring new staff just like that. Yes, calm down, John. I'm not hiring any new staff. <laughs> there, it's enough for that. Right, no, it's all right, Steve. Let him go. John, let it go back to work. Everything is under control. So, you're really set on this British Rail franchise? Of course. I've made no secret of it. Well, after all, you're on the committee. You've read my application. Yes, I, I think what Mr Tubbs wants to know here is precisely how keen you are. All right. I'd do anything to win that franchise. That's how keen I am. Anything within the law, of course. <laughs> Let's just say anything. Now we're cooking. 